Hello friends, this is Umesh and in this video I am going to show you how to use Eclipse under Linux to program AVR microcontroller. So first thing first, we have to install some packages that we need to configure inside the Eclipse. So first we have to do is we have to install those packages. So go to main menu in your Ubuntu and then accessories and open your terminal. And once you open your terminal, you see something like this, blink, blink cursor, and then you have to put the command to go into the super user mode. So sudo su, and then the password. Okay, it's wrong. And now it's right. You see the hashtag here, and that means you are in a super user mode and uh, the first thing we have to do is we have to install those packages so we have to type sudo apt get install and the name of packages so first package we need is gcc avr then we need avr libc if you want to know more about this you can find the link down below in the description then we need yours AVR and then we need AVR and just hit enter and you can see this package has been installing as I already have installed those packages so it doesn't took so much of time for me and now it's done but in your case it may take for a while okay so once you install those packages that you need you just have to close the terminal window okay so that's it for this and the next step is, is we have to install the Eclipse. So go to main menu again and go to administrator and from administrator choose Ubuntu Software Center. It may take up for a while sometimes, at least for me it takes. And uh, you can see here the list of uh, softwares and applications that you have installed in your Ubuntu system. So once it loads all those applications, then we have to search for Eclipse. So here is a search box and you have to put Eclipse to search. And once you put this, you can see the second one, Eclipse, Eclipse Integrated Development Environment. This is what we need. And as I already have installed this Eclipse in my um, system, uh, I don't need to install it again because it may take for a while again. So you can see install button here in case if you don't have installed. You just simply have to install, uh, click on this install button and then you would start to install this Eclipse uh, IDE in your system. So that's what you have to do. So let me close this and uh, I will take you to Eclipse. So once you open Eclipse, it looks something like this. In my case, I have set it the workplace uh, at the destination of a desktop. So at this point, I would going to show you how to create a fresh new project. So go to File, New, and then select a project. Then here you have to choose the C project and hit on Next. And then you have to give it the name of your project here blink test for me hit on next and uh, again next and here you have to select your device uh, in this case for me 80 mega 32 that I will be using so the frequency is 1 megahertz by default is good to go with and then hit on finish So once you open this uh, finish button, uh, it um, shows something like this in the left pan. And what you have to do is you have to right click on it and then new. And uh, then you have to, sorry, uh, we can do one thing here. It's, it's a close now. So let's open the project. I accidentally closed that project so you just have to right click and then go to new and then you have to select the source folder and 
and uh, you have to give it the name source for me is okay once you create the source folder then in the source folder you have to create the source file and go to new again and select the source file here is a source file and uh, just give it the name like in this case I would prefer to go with main.c and hit on finish so once you hit on finish you see it takes a uh, few minutes and uh, you get something like this default workplace and for this project I would keep this for this and uh, let's take the code if you go to website binaryupdates.com you will see a lot of codes uh, let's go to AVR microcontroller tutorials and uh, just take the uh, blink example And you see here is uh, the source code. So just for this demonstration, I copy the source code and uh, I put this here. And let me just make this as a, um, you know, just for the example, I would like to keep this and uh, save it. And uh, then just right click on Blinky it's again accidentally closed I'm sorry this is very small window I don't use this laptop often but I have to use this to show you how it's been done so right click on that and hit on build project once you build your project you can see build is finished and uh, um, it's, it's actually not done into the debug so we have to go and hit on release and uh, in that case it will generate the hex file that we need so I'm sorry here is a release folder and uh, here we can see the hex file uh, is generated that we have to put into the microcontroller so let me show you something so here is a blink test um, that project that we have created and uh, you can see in the release folder you get this blink test.hex file so next step is to take this blink.hex file into the microcontroller's flash memory so let's open terminal and then we have to get into the super user mode by typing sudo su enter a password and now you are in super user mode then you have to go to the text tab um, as we know that our folder our project is uh, in a blink test folder so we have to go to blink test and then list out and we have to go to release so now release we have this hex file which is a blink test.hex and our job is to program and transfer this hex file into the microcontroller and to to program this uh, microcontroller uh, to transfer this hex file into the MCU we have to use AVR dude so run the command AVR dude AVR dude minus C USB ASP then minus P and the microcontroller which is uh, at mega32 minus u minus u then flash and we're going to write so w and then link test dot hex and hit enter and once you hit enter you can see your AVR dude is verifying and uh, flash been verified and your programming has been successfully done so 
this is it for this tutorial i hope you will find this video educational and entertaining thank you very much and see you in the next video bye bye